Another weekend is upon us, and if you are lucky enough to have some downtime to relax and cuddle up under a blanket and binge some great TV, Kathleen's here to let us know what's worth watching. Okay, KNB, your first pick is a French crime drama. What's Lupin all about? Uh, it is, you know what, I've got a lot of great picks for you today, but this may be my favorite. I would say that other than Bridgerton, this is the Netflix show everyone is talking about. Ooh. I love an international show. I love a good show starring a handsome man. And Lupin is all of that. It stars <laughs> Omar Sy, who you may recognize from some American movies like Inferno, or X-Men Days of Future Past, but he is one of the biggest stars in France. And here he plays Assant Diop, a man attempting uh, to avenge the death of his father by drawing inspiration from Arsène Lupin. My French accent is not great, so <laughs> apologize if I'm butchering <laughs> these names. But uh, Lupin is a fictional, world-famous gentleman thief and master of disguise. And so this is a heist drama that is so much fun to watch. It also gives some really smart commentary on class and race in Paris. Um, the Parisian backdrop is so beautiful. And the first season is only five episodes. So it's a quick, addictive watch. Next up mm -hmm. is from the Marvel Universe, starring Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany. WandaVision. What's this one about? WandaVision <laughs> follows a romance you actually may have forgotten from the Avengers movies. So that's between Wanda Maximoff, a a.k.a. Scarlet Witch, uh, played by Elizabeth Olsen, as you mentioned, and Vision, which was Stone Tony Stark's creation, uh, half robot, half being, whatever you want to call him, played by Paul Bettany. And in the middle of the Avengers action, Wanda and Vision actually had a really sweet love story. So in this show, the two superpowered beings are actually living this idyllic life in the suburbs, but they begin to suspect that everything is not as it seems. And I don't want to say too much about it. You've probably seen the trailer, and it's very, very wacky and weird. Um, and that is what that show delivers. It is unlike anything you have seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it is such a good predictor of what's to come. Disney Plus has a lot more shows coming. We've got Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Loki's show is coming. I'm a Marvel nerd, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, and this is a great predictor because it is very, very good. So creative, so original. Your next recommendation is The White Tiger, based on the 2008 novel of the same name. Tell us about this one. Yeah, so this is a big, sweeping, epic, enthralling drama starring newcomer Adush Garov. Garov plays this ambitious driver for a rich Indian couple, played by Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Raj Kumar Rao. And this is a story about a young man who uses his wit to escape from poverty. He's climbing the social ladder. He becomes an entrepreneur. But it also is about the lengths wealthy people go to maintain their power and hold on to that. It reminded me of watching Dev Patel and Slumdog Millionaire for the first time. These are very different movies that will probably hold up very differently, but the performance will move you in the same way. Mm, okay, good sell there. Next is a period piece with a modern sensibility and tone, Dickinson. Not to bring up Bridgerton again, but I know that's what everybody's talking about and watching right now. <laughs> so if you're looking for a risque period piece that is also funny and weirder and wackier than Bridgerton, Dickinson on Apple TV Plus is for you. Haley Steinfeld stars as Emily Dickinson, yeah, the poet, in this reimagining of her life. She's this rebellious teenager who's coming of age, which you know I love, and she's raging against her parents, and she's determined to become the world's greatest poet. It's wild, and it actually only gets better in its second season, which is out now. Okay, well, speaking of leaning into comedy, last up is a British comedy drama uh, starring Idris Elba in the long run. Tell me everything I need to know about this, KNB. I mean, Tracy, other than the fact that it stars Idris Elba, <laughs> you know how I feel about I my man. Mm -hmm. Where he goes, <laughs> I follow. So this show, in the long run, it was created by and stars Idris and was inspired by his own childhood in inner city London in the 1980s. It's funny, warm-hearted. It's this portrait of a West African family. They're from Sierra Leone, uh, making ends meet in this Thatcher-era Britain. So the like comedy and all of that doesn't seem to match with the backdrop, but they do a really good job. 
It's on CBC Gem. And did I mention it's starring Idris Elba? <gasps> okay, sold. I didn't even need to know anything of what it was about. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. Thanks, Kathleen. I'm making note of every single title you just mentioned because <laughs> you know you. your picks are always so on 